So such figures are known as cyclical figures, and the dotted line is the, known as the line of symmetry. <coughs> yes, friends. Now, uh, through activity, take up a, a fold paper and uh, give them first fold and cut this piece. Now, open the fold. Our uh, paper is uh, divided into two parts, first and second. Now you can see the third. This part of the uh, um, this third, and the, and this dotted line is divided into two equal parts. This first part and this one second part. Now again for this paper, you can see second part is totally overlap the first one. It means this is a symmetrical figure. So students, in simple words, the, an object or a figure, which we can divide two equal parts. And, uh, sec, uh, and the, these two parts totally overlap each other. Then we can say this figure is a symmetrical figure or a symmetrical object. If the dotted line or a symmetry line don't overlap the sec, uh, sec, uh, these two parts, then we can say these figures are asymmetrical figures. So for, I will explain the symmetrical and asymmetrical objects through few examples. Yes, friends. Here will, uh, you can see few pictures. And a dotted line divide two equal parts. <coughs> First figure is a hut, and this dotted line divide this picture into two equal parts. This is one first part, and this is a second part. Now, where dotted line um, is now for this figure imaginary for this figure. And you can see these two parts, first and second, overlap each other. So it means this is a symmetrical figures and dotted line shows the line of symmetry. Next is a leaf. Again, with the help of dotted line, This leaf is divided into two equal parts and this dotted line shows the line of symmetry. Now this is first part and this one is second part. And these two parts now fold from dotted line fold this uh, figure. You can see these first and second part totally overlap each other. So it means this figure is a symmetrical figure. Next is half an apple and a seed black. Now again, dotted line, divide this picture into two equal parts. First one and second one. Now fold from dotted line, fold this figure. You can see these two parts are totally overlapped. So, uh, students, these are few examples of uh, symmetrical objects. A butterfly, first part, then second part, and both parts are equal in shape and equal in size. So these are all symmetrical objects. Dear students, now we discuss four alphabets. Now, first alphabet, alphabet is A. Now, A okay, is shown a dotted line. The dotted line divides letter A into two equal parts, first part and second part. 
this dotted line divided this uh, let letter a into two equal parts this first part and second part now from dotted line for this letter imaginary for this letter you can see first and second part they totally overlap each other so <coughs> our letter a is a symmetrical letter and uh, here a line of symmetry this letter has one line of symmetry same as letter b c and d e now students c letter h yes students in letter h we have two lines of symmetry first vertical then horizontal it means in letter h the letter h we can divide into two ways first vertically then horizontally it means letter h have two line of symmetry first line of symmetry is this one second line of symmetry you can divide letter h horizontally as well as vertically now first give them four this dotted line now open it then give second four from this this dotted line so letter h have two line of symmetry the first a b c d and e these five letters have only one line of symmetry but let letter h have two line of symmetry same letter i again in letter i we have two line of symmetry first vertically then horizontally letter i has two line of symmetry again letter k one line of symmetry so these are few uh, symmetrical objects and symmetrical letters next students will discuss symmetry of uh, geometrical shapes symmetry of geometrical shapes first shape will discuss square yes students <coughs> sorry as you know square has four uh, line segment square is made by joining the four line segments and all these four line segments are equal in length in square all sides are all four sides are equal now now we'll discuss the line of symmetry of a square a square has four line of symmetry a square has four line of symmetry the two diagonals and two line joining the midpoints um, of pairs of opposite sides for uh, yes students now i will explain this with the help of this square paper yes students now i have paper square shape all these four sides a square have four sides first second third and fourth all sides are equal in length now we we'll find the line of symmetry of a square now first we'll fold this square as so first line of symmetry of a square is this one first line of symmetry of a square is this one now open this fold now you uh, yes friends when we, when you fold this square paper see uh, this fold divide this square into two equal parts first and second now fold it now you can see these two parts are totally overlap each other so first line of symmetry of a square is this one now open it now give them second fold second fold like this second line of symmetry of a square again open it now join the corners 
this. Again, two parts totally overlap, overlapped. So third line of symmetry of first pair is this one. Now second corners, fourth line of symmetry is this one. So it means a square has four line of symmetry. Now draw these lines of uh, symmetry. First line of symmetry is the fold and the paper where we fold. Uh, it is known as line of symmetry. So first line of symmetry of a square is Now, second line of symmetry. First and second. Now, third line of symmetry, diagonals of square. Diagonals of square. And fourth line of symmetry. So a square has four line of symmetry. Now count first, second, third, and fourth. So students, a square has four line of Symmetry. Next figure we'll discuss is rectangle. Yes, friends. I have another paper. It is in rectangular shape. Yes, but now check the line of symmetry first. Give them first fold. So first line of symmetry of a rectangle is this one. Now second. Second line of symmetry of a rectangle is this one. Now try to join the diagonals. Yes, friends. Now join the diagonals. Yes, friends, when we join these diagonals, these two parts are not overlap each other. So it means a rectangle has only two line of symmetry. First of line, the first line of symmetry is this one. And second line of symmetry. Yes, friends, a square has four line of symmetry and a rectangle have two line, has two line of symmetry. Clear? Next is, now we'll discuss uh, about triangles. First is, a triangle with all sides unequal. Yes, friends, as you know, in triangle, we have three sides. First triangle, at <coughs> sorry. First triangle uh, with all sides equal. Uh, so all sides unequal means all three sides are different in length. So for this friends, a triangle with all sides unequal has no line of symmetry. A triangle with all sides unequal is no line of symmetry. Second type is a triangle with all sides different length is no is not symmetrical about any line. Next triangle is triangle with two sides equal. If a triangle we have two sides equal, this side and this side. These two sides are equal in length. A triangle with two sides equal, this side 
and this side these are equal sides uh, in this triangle yes friends a triangle having two sides equal have one line of symmetry this one this line is line of symmetry next is a triangle with all sides equal suppose we have a triangle with all three sides are equal in length has three line of symmetry and a circle we have unlimited line of symmetry you can draw unlimited lines through this center you can draw unlimited lines of symmetry in this circle yes students what we discuss in square we have four line of symmetry in a square we have four line of symmetry and in a rectangle we have two lines of symmetry next we will discuss about triangles a triangle having all sides different in length has no line of symmetry a uh, second is a triangle with two sides equal having one line of symmetry and a triangle having all three sides are equal in length have three line of symmetry symmetry and last we will discuss a circle a circle has unlimited line of lines of symmetry clear students now students we will discuss few questions of exercise 61 yes students exercise 61 Yes, friends. Uh, we'll uh, solve exercise sixty-one in your book. Now, open your book, page number two hundred forty-five. Yes, friends. Open your book, page number two hundred forty-five, and we'll solve exercise sixty-one in your book. First question is. Exercise sixty one. Which of the following objects are symmetrical? Which of the following object objects are symmetrical? Uh, yes, friends. We will divide each object horizontally as well as uh, vertically. Then we will check are these two parts equal in shape or equal in size? First, this is a mango. Draw a vert uh, vertical line. these two parts suppose we draw yeah these two parts are not equal in shape so our answer is no our answer is no first question first part your answer is no second is sure now divide this object into two equal parts with the help of dotted line yes friends now you can see this is first part second part and both parts are equal in shape and equal in size so it means this is a symmetrical so your answer is yes first your answer is no second part your answer yes next is a basket now with the help of dotted line divide this basket into two equal parts now friends this is first part and second part and both parts are equal in shape and equal in size if we fold from from dotted line first and second part totally overlap each other so it means part c a basket this basket is a symmetrical yes <coughs> next now divide first part second part and these two parts are not equal so your answer is no no
Next is now divide this picture into two equal parts, first part and second part. And both parts are equal in shape, as same shape and same size. So your answer is yes. <coughs> Next is, now fold from dotted line. Then we can see, first part is not totally overlap second one. So your answer is no. Next is a kite. First part, and second part and both part are equal in shape and equal in size so here your answer is yes next is these are two parts but uh, these two parts are not same size so your answer is no and last your answer is no. So this is first question. Next is second. Draw all possible lines of symmetry of each of the following figure. Now in second question, we'll draw the line of symmetry of these figures. Yes, friends, first figure. First line of symmetry, then second line of symmetry. So in figure A, we have two lines of symmetry. In figure A, we have two lines of symmetry. Next is B. First line of symmetry and second line symmetry. First and second, both figure having two lines of symmetry. First, part A has two line of symmetry. Again, part two, we have two lines of symmetry. Now, next is uh, part C. Yes, friends, part C have only one line of symmetry at center. This figure in only one line of symmetry. <laughs> Clear, students? Next is part D. Again, part D, we have one line of symmetry. Clear students? Next is part E. Again, part E, have one line of symmetry at center. Draw this line of symmetry. Next is part F. Part F have one line of symmetry. If we draw a vertical line, this, uh, sh this shape is divided into two parts, but these two parts are not, really, uh, not uh, overlap each other. So it means it's have only one line of symmetry. Yes, friends, in part A, two line of symmetry, B, again, two line of symmetry, C, only one line of symmetry. Part D, one line of symmetry, 
E again one line of symmetry and part F one line of symmetry. <coughs> so students, today your homework is complete question first and second of uh, exercise 61 in your book. Clear students? Today your homework is complete ex uh, first and second question of exercise 61. Thank you. Have a nice day.